Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on the Project Ozone 3 server. This is episode 13. If you notice my voice is a little rough because I just woke up. I was so excited to get back into this so I wanted to like just get started right away. I haven't really uh, <laughs> done much of anything this morning. I haven't even got my coffee yet. I wanted to get this loaded up and get on. Uh, today I want to do something a little bit more of a maintenance episode. We have a little bit of a problem here and that is that I have usually have had to go through this process of breaking down things myself using a hammer and putting them in this thing and it would run for a little bit but it would me starting it up and I've tinkered around tinkered haha tinkered around with making it more automated and I think I've got something that it will work so I want to right now make something that I can do and set it up where it will run gravel it'll run sand and it will run dirt now I have um, 16 of these I'm thinking maybe of doing three nine by nine so of course we'll have to get more diamonds and stuff and that's why I'm running gravel so we're gonna start up right away I'm gonna see if I can do this uh, video with less cuts so I apologize in advance if the audio gets out of sync I've seen that happen as videos go longer so I'm hopefully that won't so we're gonna work on this over here okay let's get started on this now you see we have right here we have all of our storage and I'm using these uh, item translocators they seem to be emptying out pretty fast when stuff comes in it goes out I'm also using ender chests that are linked together from over here because this long cable was getting to be a pain okay so what I want to try to do is one of the problems I have with this system is every so often pieces get thrown really far away and that sort of thing so I want to encase it in a structure and I want to put the structure over here so that we can kind of get it close to our storage wall okay now I do notice here that I have cobblestone and I need to get actually slabs. I could use these slabs. I'll just use these slabs. These will work. We'll use this and we have cobblestone for some of the structure. It'll still look kind of ugly, but that's okay. <clears throat> so here we go. So out here, I'm going to put another wall here and we're going to go with three by threes, right? And I want to have a, like a breaker between them of some sort. So another three and a breaker, another three and a breaker or a wall. That should be correct. Now let me make sure I got this right. So here's the wall here. Three, here's the break. Three and break. Three and a break. Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to make it look correctly. Actually, we may not have to have a break around it, but let's just do that. I actually kind of like having these holes. It's kind of neat looking. So we might just go with that. I'm just, you know, doing this on the fly. So, um, we can do that. I'd like to be able to get this stuff into this system pretty easily um, through this machine. So, and it's getting dark, and it's a blood moon, and we should probably put some torches down. <laughs> Make sure we don't have any spots. We don't. Okay. Um, I could put the floor and have them raised up, but I don't see the need for it. Although I would like to have a wall here so that it can't go past the wall. Um, yeah, so let's throw up some cobblestone. This will be like a barrier wall here. And if the wall goes out here, if the wall goes out here, and maybe we need to have uh, right here be a, uh, possibly a vacuum chest or something like that. And we'll see if we can get that to work for the whole area. Okay. Let's start to set some of this stuff up. I'm going to put the floor in here. Let's just get this all done. Okay. Get this all done there and there and there. Okay. Right. I'm going to just put a couple more rows just so I have some more space. And we are going to put some torches because it's Blood Moon. I don't like Blood Moons. I'm going to shut this down now. So what I do is go over here and I tell this thing to stop. And it will stop clicking. And I'm going to finish the clicking for it. Um, get a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Okay. So what's going on here is it's feeding into here, which is then feeding over to there. And we're going to take this stuff and we're going to start to use it over by our own place there. Okay. Where to go? There it is. The vacuum chest. Now, I'm not sure if the vacuum chest has the range for all of this, and that's one of the things I'm concerned about. So let's see if it does here. 
There's a range. Show the range. Now see, it kind of does, doesn't it? It kind of goes out. It's got enough to hold the whole thing. So that's good. So, okay, we don't need to see that anymore. Now I want to have these devices here, probably in groups of three. So let's do that. And uh, I might have to get more, like I said, and we know that. So let's uh, just uh, vein mine this. And apparently I ruined my axe, but that's okay. Um, the rest of these might take a couple seconds longer. Okay, and you can see this is where the old uh, auto sifter that I was using was located, but we're not gonna use that now. Okay, so I'm gonna make the side be gravel. This will be a three by three, and then this will be sand. And then we'll have to do some more and do make that over there be uh, dust, okay? And we need to get some of this done here. Okay. Get, at least get this placed. Okay, that's good. And we need to get more sieves. We need, what is it, uh, another 9 plus 2 is 11 of them. So let's go get some wood and start working on that really quick. Um, some wood and some sticks. And we'll go over here and we'll make that like that. And we'll make some of those. And we'll make the sieves here. Okay. We can make a bunch of these. I don't need a bunch. I just need 11. Okay. And there we go. There's those. And we need 11 diamond meshes, which means we're going to make 11 string meshes. 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 Okay. And it should be in here. We have a bunch of string. Hopefully that's enough. Probably is. Okay, the mesh. Like that. Only 11 of these. Okay. Now we need to make those up to flint, so let's grab some flint. Okay. And we'll go back over here. And we'll make the flint mesh. There's 11 of those. Next one is iron. And of course, we need iron for that. Let me put the flint back here. And. Getting a lot of iron, which is good. Okay. Iron mesh. And there we go. We have 11 of those. Put the iron away. Now we need diamonds. And this is going to be the hard part. We only have 62 diamonds that we've run through the gravel so far. So we may not have enough, but we'll see what we can do here. I got 10. Almost enough, guys. And that's fine. We can get the last one as we do the gravel here. So let's put this here. Okay. And now we're going to run these. And we've got one left to do. Now, I'm going to have devices here that uh, create the material I need. And they are called the Material Stonework Factory. And we're going to grab this. It's probably got stuff in it. And it does. Okay, so... Uh, man, i got to get rid of stuff. <laughs> um, too much stuff. Do I have any chests that are <laughs> not filled? Oh my gosh, guys. Um... You know what? I'll throw some of this cobblestone in here and just let it cook. There we go. And I really don't care about those. I really want to get the um, those things because they are upgrades. We got four of the four upgrades. We have the translocator. We got the material stonework factory. Okay. So the idea of the material stonework factory, if you don't know, I'll put it over here. It's going to have to have power, and we'll put power to it in a minute. Um, this device, when it has power, creates cobblestone in these slots, okay? Right there. And I can tell it what I want to do by sitting uh, certain buttons. So I'm going to say, like, for instance, grind the cobblestone down to the next thing. And so what it does is it'll make it down to gravel, just like we use with the hammer, okay? And that's kind of cool, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to set that up right now. I'm going to get a power system here. I'm not sure the range on this, so I'm gonna put this, um, I'm gonna put it right in the break here. I figure if I put one here, if I eventually have one here, I should be able to cover everything. But see, now it's getting power and I have it set to grind, and you can see what it's doing here. It's grinding that out, <clears throat> excuse me, which is great. So now we have a bunch of gravel. Now the way I was using it over here was the mechanical user, okay? So let's get this done here. Oops, I just knocked out part of my floor. 
And I lost that piece. That's okay. I want to get the upgrades there, too. I don't need... Eh. No. No. I hate doing this because it takes a little bit, but there we go. I got the upgrades. And I gotta get the mechanical user, too. Um, there it is. Okay. So, we want to have the mechanical user pointing into here. Now, I'm curious. This is just a test right now because I haven't tested this part. I wonder if the mechanical user... It faces when you, you when you put it down. So I'm wondering if it works by... Oh, it went into the vacuum chest. If I face it this way... Let me put this down. Get this rid of this real quick. So that way I can do this. If I can put it here. I'm wondering is if, if I can get this to receive... This is the front side. This is the right side. So the left side of this material, I want to go out. And see, I have it set to go out for the left, but it's not going in. So that doesn't work there. But we could probably use those flat things, but I'm not sure if it's fast enough either. And that's the other part that I was having trouble with. So we're going to leave those in there. And we're going to set this up right over here. I know that's keeps going into there. That's okay. Okay, and we're going to run the pipe with... And I don't have my pipe with a reinforced servo into it, okay? Let me get these out. There we go. Okay, and we'll put this on here. So, come on. Put them down. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. And we lost part of the pipe there. So... Um, I should have some around here somewhere. I know I've got some. I got some dense ones too, and these will actually work pretty well. Made a couple of these during my test, so we'll, we'll run this right here. Okay, and we'll put the servo on. I'm gonna turn this off right now. Oh, that's not it. Okay, servo. And we'll say it is always on. Right, ignored. And this should be putting stuff into here. Okay, so it is. It's putting down the um, cobblestone into here, but I don't want the cobblestone. So let's stop this for a second and go in here. Material process. I don't want to do any cobblestone going out. And really, this one should only be going out the left side. Okay. So now we should see only gravel coming through, and we do, and that's excellent. So I don't need that. Uh, a little bit of lag here. Come on. What's going on? Uh-oh, I think I might have crashed. If I crashed, I'll have to do another cut. Um, I have crashed, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And because of that, I was able to get a drink, which I'm taking now. Hmm, that's good. Hmm. Morning coffee. Yum. Okay, so it's taking out the material here. I'm not sure why this one's still here. You would think it would already be gone, but uh, this is already filled up, so... We're about ready to go here with this, okay? Now, I really want to get this sorted out first, and I'm wondering if I can just make it go into here with using these uh, item translocators. I'm hoping that we can. Um, I'm not sure about the distance and other things, so I'm going to put this on here, okay? And I think you just have to match them up. Um, and I have one over here. We're going to try this out. I didn't want to grab that. Um, I really should put something in here. Oh, well, okay. Let's grab the translocator. There, it fell to the ground. No, don't need that. There it is. Okay. I'm not sure about how far these go. I've only had like one block of separation between them. I want to see if it goes into here. If I say that, now I click it. Okay. And I'm wondering if I put like this in here. It's not really linked up. And I think it's because... Perhaps because it is at a different height. Um, because the controller is here. If I put stuff in here, it would automatically go through. If I put stuff in here, you can see it kind of runs through. So maybe we'll have to just... Um, I hate to have like a thing and just do this quickly. It should just go right into that. That might be the faster way, but I don't like the height change here. Um, you know what? I don't really care. It may look ugly for now, but I'm just going to grab this and use it that way. Okay, so let's do that. So I can grab it. There it is. Okay, because it's already encoded. 
And I don't care. I'll just put the uh, chest over here. And let's take this one off. It should have flown right into here. It did. And we'll just put it right here. This is kind of crazy. Now, instead of that way, I want to go the other way. Okay, it's throwing all the gravel into here, which we don't want. But it's it's working, okay? And that's good, and this is working here. So that would work if it starts to pick up the stuff we want over here, okay? I think that that's good. So we need to get some more diamonds and gravel going to get that fixed. And I need to dump some of this stuff off that I've got. This is starting to get annoying. Um, start getting rid of some of this stuff anyway. Okay, I'm gonna need to eat too. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this will start working right away when we start running it, and we need to make two more of these um, of these mechanical users and two more of the material stonework factories for these to be here. Gravel, sand, and uh, dust, okay? Now, I know for sure I got everything set up for gravel and dust. I'm not sure if sand's completely set up, and we need to check that out too. But let's, um, let's get started with this. Now, the material stonework factory, guys, this thing takes um, pink slime, okay? Which means we have to get some slime. And I have the bucket over here, and what I was doing was taking this bucket like that, and I made a spot right here, and I have to wait for a pink slime to spawn. So we're going to wait on that, and hopefully that'll spawn sooner than later. we got to get a couple more pieces of pink slime. Okay. Um, you know what? I wanted this to go faster, too. I put these things in here. I was doing my test. Um, there. And this thing, I want to have two of these, and that should work. Okay. I'm not turning it on yet because I worry about the explosiveness. Well, I could turn it on, I guess. It should work. Um, I just worry about it spamming our, our inventory and stuff like that. Let's get some more... Um, did it spawn? Yeah, maybe it fell down the hole? I don't know. It'll hide the holes, but it shouldn't have fallen down a hole. But, uh, um, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do it again. <laughs> and we'll wait and see what happens. Okay, back to this. We're going to put some cobblestone all the way around. on the F7 to see if we can see anything like spawn points and that sort of thing okay, there are some right here <clears throat> down here make sure nothing can spawn this is very bad if something does okay now because it throws things everywhere I want this to go higher like that Okay, and we might even put another layer above it. There's a slime right there. Okay, we're gonna kill this, get some pink slime. We only need two pieces. Hopefully it'll give us enough, and I think it did. It did, that's excellent. Okay, let's get this material stonework factory made here. Uh, we do need water and lava buckets, so let's get some water. And water I have below right now, over here with the ember stuff. There's two buckets of water, and we need to get two buckets of lava. Okay, we have that, and we need our plastic, and I've been putting things away all over the place, so let's see if I can find my plastic. Um, because I made a bunch of it. Oh, wow. I put it back. I don't see the plastic here. I know I've got plastic, but I don't see it. And so now I gotta do this thing. Um, the reason why I'm doing this storage stuff over here is so that in the next episode or two, I can start to work on AE storage. I think we're about ready to do that, but I wanted to get this part sorted out first, or six, and that might be enough. Um, okay. okay. This is the factory, material stonework factory. Okay, we have all this stuff, pretty much. We need to make some machine frames and some iron picks and some furnaces. So, cobblestone. Furnaces. Done. And we need some iron picks, which means I got iron on me, so let's make some iron picks, and that's not how you do it. Right 
right there. Okay, and the machine frame. Get some tin gears. We need a couple tin gears. Let's get some tin. Okay. There it is. So, once we get this part done, then we'll make the mechanical users, which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and then after that, we can just go ahead and... I need some glass. We can go ahead and make uh, the next stuff that we need, um, which will be trying to make pulverizing and automatically smelting down the ore so we get it into there. Um, I need to get some sand, and I thought I had a stack of sand somewhere to make some glass, or else i got to find some glass. I have some sand there, but I don't want to take that. I think I've got some regular old sand. There it is. Okay, we'll throw that in here. It'll cook that up pretty quick. And then we can make the thing we need. There's some sand. Uh, glass. Okay. I'm going to go here. Two of those. And then we make two of these, right? I'm missing the crafting tables. Nice. Okay. Don't care about that. Throw that out. And there we go. And those buckets are gone and used. Make the next one. There it is. Okay. Okay, so these are ready to go. We're going to put these over in our little system here. And uh, let's see. Let's put it the same kind of configuration here. Make sure nothing can spawn. Okay. Okay, that's what I want. Now this guy is serving two of those and not this guy. So we'll have to get another power thing in a minute. Actually, we can do that right now. Let's see. Let's get a wireless power. One of these guys. It takes a stone burnt and a resonating crystal. That's pretty easy to do. I think we already have resonating crystals somewhere. And we have stone burnt. And that's hardened stone. Resonating crystals are fairly easy to spot because they're so small. Of course, if you don't have any, might need a polished stone. Let's put some of this in here. That'll make the stone burnt. There we go. Resonating crystal. And a stone burnt. Okay. And we can take all that and four more of those. Okay, so now we got power. Okay, just like that. And now we need to make the mechanical users and these things here. And then this should be, I can seal this up and it should work fine. So the mechanical users, these are pretty cool. Takes another resto, or resonating redstone crystal, dropper, and a lever. So do we have any more of those? We probably don't, so what does it take to make those? Four redstone and an ender shard. I thought we had some shards. <coughs> Excuse me. I know we have the tool to make them. Uh, golly, it's been half my episode searching through my, my rummaging through my chest. There's that. There's the Ender shards and we need some redstone. Okay. Okay. So now we gotta make two of these. There are those. Now we need to make two levers. Got that one. I always get that reversed. There's that one. And now we need to make some droppers, which is just regular cobblestone. So, and I'm out. Okay. Okay. Just like that. There we go. Two more mechanical users. Need to get rid of something here. Okay. All right. Let's go put this into place. We're getting there, guys. This is going to be pretty cool when we get this done. Okay. So here it is. I want to make sure I get this point in the right direction. And that one is. And this one here. Same thing. I know I should be using an axe on this. I don't have an axe at the moment. That's okay. Okay. So right here. Go. And I'm gonna put this back. Put that back. 
Now this stuff is going over to here, and of course it can't go into my system. It doesn't know how to handle it. So I gotta keep track of that until we get this whole thing finished. Um, here we go. That and uh, that. Okay. So we need to get this going over here. We need to get a pipe here and a pipe here. Now I'm going to assume that this I want more, so I'm going to go with this one. And this again is the left side. I do not want anything coming out of here of cobblestone. So, and the next thing is the side, which is be gravel. No gravel come out. Next side would be sand. I don't want that coming out. And this is dust, okay? And I think we said that this is what? The left side. So for dust, it's the orange. I want the left side. It's good. Okay, and I want this to grind that out. Circuit plate. Interesting. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Now it should be going into here once I put a servo on. And I'm going to start and turn this off. I should turn this one off too. Okay. So now we have to get the servos. Let's see, do I have any servos laying around? I have those, yes. Okay. So this will be ignore. And this should be filling up with dust. And it is. Okay. So now we got this piece here. Um, we want this. Again, the same kind of thing. We do not want this to come out. We do not want gravel to come out. But we do want sand. And I believe on the left side, yes. Okay. And we need to get one more of these. It's a fluid duct. Now, to make the dents opaque, um, this right here it was pretty easy. You take um, item ducts and give it a piece of lead. So I'm going to make another one of those real quick. That way we have all dense over there, which goes a little bit faster. Uh, isn't that right? Oh, wait, hold on. That's right, okay. It takes three lead nuggets. Okay, let's just make some nuggets. And we'll hit that, and we'll go over here and do that. I thought that was something odd with what I was doing. This circuit plate, I want to keep this. This is kind of cool. I don't know what this is for. Um, i get rid of something here. Okay. Okay, get out of there. Okay. Put this down here again. There we go. Put the servo on. And put it over here. And this should be receiving sand. Let's make sure it does. Oh, wait. I forgot to turn this on here. Grind mode. Always active. This stone can come out. No, I don't want this to grind. That's right. We only want to grind from here to here. So this made some dust. We don't care. We'll pull that in. Okay. So it's making the sand that we need. And that's good. Now we're going to have to do these upgrades too in a little bit. But I just want to get this started. We're also going to have to uh, do the upgrade here. But this should in theory be about ready to work i'm going to um go up one more level so we can like kind of work in here okay and eventually this is going to be covered but for now i don't care um, i want this to be like kind of like a self-contained unit that works great okay so this side right here should be good and we can get more diamonds so we can finish that out so i'm going to turn this on i probably want to stay up here and it should work. There we go. Now, uh, we have to do activate block with item. And that's a problem I hadn't considered. Um, is the range. Notice that? It's going all the way over there. Even though they're not connected, I thought they had to be connected. That's a problem uh, for this system. Let me turn this back off. Also, you notice that they get stuck here. Um, I probably want to put some sort of layer above this so it can't get stuck on this section. But it looks like I need to put two blocks of space between them. Um, okay, well, <laughs> that changes things, doesn't it? So let's go back over here and let's uh, take out our wall. And we're going to have to do some shifting here. Uh, 
because I want this to be the same, so it's gonna have to go out this way a little bit. So let's bring this out. Or is it the same thing over here? And then we're gonna shift all of that over, and that's gonna be a pain, but we're gonna have to do it. Um, that can stay. So this whole system here. We know where it's going. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this as storage here. Okay, so a lot of stuff was in here. Um, this has to go over one. But they don't overlap, so there has to be at least two spaces there between them. Right? And I want this whole thing to shift over, so I really need to hold up on this one. A little bit of uh, design flaw here, guys, but we're doing it. So we need to get the mechanical user out first. If I have it here, I want to place it right here. There it is. And this was activate block with item. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Uh, we did not have any upgrades on it. I thought we did. One of these I do. Maybe not. I thought we had upgrades. That's okay. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, we want our material stonework factory. There's the upgrades. It took a little bit to get there. Okay. So let's put the two upgrades here. That's good. Remember, this is um, waiting for a redstone signal to be on. We're going to place this down here. This is the thing that's going to make the, the cobblestone. And again, we do not want cobblestone going out. And we want this side to only go out the left, I believe. Which is... Uh, left is south, okay. Okay, so it's making that, that's good. And we need to go get our dense cables here. And there we go, okay. There's that, and that, and we'll turn it on. Okay, now we don't have anything here, so it won't work yet. That's fine, because we don't want it to work yet. So, eat that. Oh, uh, we need that, and we have our meshes with us, okay. So this side should be just about ready to go again. Okay, and these upgrades should be just about ready to go as well. Okay, so this side is complete. It's completely done. There we go, okay. That's fine. Now this side should be ready to go, except for we gotta put the upgrades in, and that's fine, and it's still working great. Um, let's run this through real quick. Okay. And then this side we have to move over still. Um, so let's start to get the pieces out for this. Oh man, I didn't want all this stuff on me. These are stuff that can go into the system already. You can see it pulls it out what it knows. That's good. Okay, so we'll grab that, grab that, grab that, and all of this. There it goes, okay. And, again, we gotta set up this other side. I apologize for this, guys. Um, stuff like this happens. Okay, so we're gonna two over, put that there. What else do we need? Let's get rid of that. We need to have that, and that, and that. Okay, this is not on, and it should be activate block with item. And now the material stonework, I want to put on this side so I keep it kind of the same. Okay, <clears throat> and it's gaining power. Now we want this one to be grind. This is the dust side. Okay, and again, nothing out on the cobblestone. Nothing out on the gravel. Nothing out on the sand, and on the left side, we want to have dust, okay? So now if we put the servo on, dust should be arriving in here. Let's just double check that it does, and there it is, and that is dust, okay. So now we can take the sieves here. I'm missing one. And there it is. Okay, and put 
that there, and then we have all of our diamond meshes. Now we're still missing one mesh because we don't have enough diamonds. Well, we might have diamonds now. Do we have enough diamonds? Did we get diamonds enough to do this? No, we just have two. So we're gonna have to wait for some more diamonds. Okay, so now that that is done, let's build this wall back up and make sure this still works. I worry again, let that side uh, piece will cause some issues, but we will see here. Good thing we have flight. <laughs> Run this down here. Run it over. This will be like a self-contained little building that I want to do. So there we go. Okay, and we'll wand it up in there, and we'll do one more level. Make sure we make it so nothing can spawn. Okay. So this side should be working like I said, so let's turn this on. Okay. And they should just go over to that system. Now I'm gonna put in filler here so it doesn't get stuck, because you can see it's getting stuck here. Um, so let's put something over this box. Just like that, okay? And let's put some stuff in here. like that okay so stuff can go over there and shouldn't get stuck on anything I'm gonna put another torch down here temporarily but now that's getting us the gravel resources which is really good so let's fill in this stuff here now that we know this is working um, okay that's working and we don't need it there that's working and okay so at least I can see the other machines and this should be working pretty well and it's going out here, and you can see it's feeding in items. As they come in here, they're taken out pretty quick. So we'll clean up that, that system in a minute. And let's see what else we got to do. Um, we hopefully, we'll get some diamonds here soon. So the diamonds are coming in. we got to wait for six. Okay, so what's left? Well, um, this needs to get upgrades. We need to find, and I might have some speed upgrades someplace else here. I have two. So let's go put those in the uh, here. There they are. And we have to put the upgrades here. And those are a little bit tricky, but those aren't bad. So let's go get those. Those are from uh, Tesla here. And basically it's an energy upgrade one and two and a speed upgrade one and two, okay? And I need two of those each, okay? And a lot of them take this uh, base upgrades here and they take this, okay? So basically we need to make a bunch of these so let's uh, start working on that. Uh, I need to get some space freed up again. I'm going to be so happy when we get our storage system, guys, because we need to get rid of a bunch of junk. It's just a pain. Okay, so we're going to make a bunch of the gold gears. Let's get a stack of gold. Here we go. We're going to go in here. Okay, there's a bunch of those. Okay, and we need to make these. It's just these are just paper and um, redstone. And we have a bunch of paper here, and we have redstone. So let's go get that. And we need uh, probably what uh, sixteen of them, maybe more. Let's just make a bunch. That'll work. Okay, so we need to have of these. I need to have at least two. Plus, I need two more for that. So I need four of those. There we go. And of these, I need to have uh, four of those. Hold on, what am I doing here? Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we need to have two of these. And you can see it takes diamonds, and we don't have the diamonds. And it takes diamonds in those. Okay, so that's okay. We'll get back to that. We can put a couple of these pieces in, though, into here. Okay, look over here. Okay, so uh, we're just waiting on diamonds then, I guess, for this. Diamonds will be coming in. We have seven now, that's enough for a mesh, or we can get one of these upgrades. And I think I should do the upgrades first. Okay, um, so we're gonna do one of the upgrades. And I need to get rid of something here, just put it there for a second. Okay, and put that right there. That makes it run a little bit faster. 
I like that. And then we're waiting on some more. We need more diamonds here. We've got two more. See, it's slowly working, but it's doing it automatically. I'm not having to do any type of hammering or anything like that. It's just going to work the way I want it to and works right every time. So I think this will work out for a system that'll be great, okay? So now this side should be done, right? Once we get this, this is fully upgraded. Uh, this is upgraded. I could turn this on. So now let's get some cobblestone hiding over this after I turn this on. And it should start putting in sand, right? Uh, do we have set to activate? No. And there it is. And now sand is processing. Just like that. And then, like I said, it goes into here. And what can be stored in here is automatically taken into here. Like Electrotene. Apparently, I don't have Electrotene uh, being stored. So that's something I'm going to have to take uh, into account over here. And put some storage upgrades over there. Okay, so we're just about here, guys, with this other section. We need to get... Uh, this upgrades and this upgrades, which the one takes diamonds. We have three diamonds. There we go. Okay, so we're getting close. And then we also have to do the mesh, and then the system should be pretty much done. There's that. Goes in here. There it is. We're waiting on some more diamonds. We don't have any at the moment, so we're going to be okay there. So what are the other speed upgrades? These are gold, redstone blocks, and base upgrades, which is gold in the machine. So let's get some gold and a redstone block, two of these, right? And I grabbed too much gold. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so we need to make a couple of these. Just like that. And there for now. And make that. I'll put that in there. I'm using this as storage. Isn't that great? Okay, we need that. And then... Gold. We got that, so we should be good. Just need the other piece. And then we'll have the two upgrades for the mechanical user. And we're just about there, guys. This is pretty good. This system will work out really well for us. Um, I don't need that. I can just do it like this, right? There they are. Put that into here. There it is. And we need the one upgrade still, which takes four diamonds, and then we need to get that mesh. Okay, uh, four diamonds, we got six. Okay, should work. And get rid of that and that, and put the diamonds down, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so this should be fully upgraded right now. Now, um, I want to be able to think, I think access these things from the back. So I'm going to just take out some spots here so I can see them, you know, just in case. And then there were two spots here, and this should be the machine. And that, and there are two spots there, and then here and here. Okay, so there we go. We can get access to the machines if we want. Uh, we need to get some more diamonds. Do we have enough here? We have one. We need three more, and then we can turn this on. Um, but now that I have that covered up, I should be able to just cover this over here. And for that, we'll just do this real quick. Okay. Now we're having a light problem in here. Apparently I'm picking stuff up, that's not good. So that should work, guys. It's like a big funnel system. And it should keep stuff from bouncing out. You know, how they were going over here and down this aisleway and stuff. And it also cleans up that corner, which I can use for something else. Um, I might get rid of this extra wall here. And that might be something I should probably do in a little bit. But let's get this working. Diamonds? I need some more diamonds. I guess we're going to get rid of this wall. Since, uh... <laughs> So we really don't need this side now, do we? And I can't vein mine it because I vein mine my whole system, so. But this should, again, prevent any pieces from flying out and it should be self contained. We should be able to just get resources forever. Now, this is not including the system that will then do uh, the pulverizing of the 
uh, chunks and and making them into um, ingots and that sort of thing. And that's something we can do at a later time. Now that bothers me right there. Do you see that one sticking out? Okay, so they are coming through these holes right here. Okay, um, so we're gonna have to block this off. And we can make some sort of ornate pillar. But that that's kind of cool, actually. I'm wondering if, if this piece here, once I pick this up, um, which I can't do. I wonder if it will work better then. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Okay. The other thing I'm worried about a little bit, but not much, is making sure that it flows correctly into here. Okay. Uh, making sure that it, and it flows out and we don't lose any items. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're about good. Let's get some more diamonds. We got a bunch. Here we go. We're going to make the other mesh. Where is it? Did we... Didn't we have it on us? Did it, did it get put in here for some reason? What the heck? Didn't we have our mesh here? What did I do with my mesh? Did it go in here? Uh, you know what? We're going to have to just make a new mesh because for some reason my mesh is gone. I don't see it anywhere. Wow. I mean, stuff like this happens, but we're going to need iron. We're going to need the flint. We have the string. Okay, so let's make another mesh. Somewhere is a mesh. There's that. that and we'll make the diamond one okay this is there this should be working with dust then so all I have to do is turn this on go out here and okay dust is working and you can see it's being sucked into the vacuum chest that's good that is fantastic guys so this thing is just running fantastic the way I want it um, the only thing I worry about is if it gets stuck, this thing system could, in theory, get clogged, but uh, I, I don't think it will. And we have enough lighting around there, and this stuff is working too, right? Okay, so you can see we have some things we need to get taken care of. We're getting some crystals and some electrotine. Let me get this stuff here. Let's see if I can dump some of the stuff that I have on me into some chests or some space. There's no space there. <laughs> I'm using any chest I can find, guys. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Okay. And let's get rid of some of this stuff over here. Okay, so we know we don't need that. It's not coming from them. All of this stuff is from me. Okay. So, uh, again, let's try to move some stuff around here just for a minute. I don't have a lot of space. Okay, so we don't have, um, looks like a place for this, and we don't have a space for Surtis Quartz Crystals. Now, I do have over here a couple of extra drawers, so I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put that there. Now, these don't have any upgrades. I do have some more upgrades, um, somewhere. <laughs> these upgrades, there they are. I built a bunch of these. Um, I need to get some void upgrades, so I'm going to put six. That'll increase the stack limit. And if you notice, then there should be one left, and that's when I put a void upgrade, which is a uh, this little purple thing, which basically says, "Hey, uh, yeah, uh, anything over the amount that you can store, get rid of it." Now, see what do we have here? Electric. This is coming out. It's coming out as fast as it can here, but then it takes these. So we have, hmm. Oops. Let's see. Charge Certus quartz. Is another spot and we need another drawer for that so let's see what do we got do we have a drawer anywhere we can make a drawer pretty quick for a drawer we need a chest and there we go 
I use these little holes as spacers. So we need to get rid of this spacer here. And I'll put this here. And put that there. And I don't, I'm going to lock it later. But these are just regular Surtis Quartz Crystals. And these are charged Surtis Quartz Crystals. And actually, let's put six upgrades. There, it should work. Okay, so this should be emptying pretty quick. It's, it's, it's keeping up. I think, um, if you look at it, it looks like it's trying to. Um, I'm going to grab these out here manually and put it in there. And then if this thing starts to back up, we'll know it's not fast enough. And if it, you know, stays ahead, we'll be okay. There we go. Okay, so now let's take a look at the whole system here. This is not backing up. It's going as fast as it can. Is this backing up? This is the same thing. How's this working? This is... It's backing up. <laughs> so we have the potential here of this causing issues, okay? Now, that means either I can try to make this faster or I can slow these down. And the way to slow these down is I'm gonna take out these upgrades. So it doesn't click as fast and also saves us GP. But uh, what is that? Why is that there? Um, so it won't click as fast. Now there's something interesting. Why would it do that? I thought we solved that problem. Um, okay, okay. So I know there's a bug with this. Basically is with positioning. Apparently this will go over four blocks each way. See, this one here only goes four blocks, so it's cut off. And if I were to put this one here, it has the potential of doing this. We're getting a lot more material from sand than we are getting from uh, gravel and stuff. I might have to expand this even more, guys. But you see the system here. It's working pretty well. And now that I've slowed this down, this should be slowly catching up here. And it is. So I might be able to put one of these back. It might work, but you can see it comes in. It just kind of spills it out. And there we go. So this system is working uh, fine for me. Like I said, I'll change this up a little bit. I'll probably do that off camera because uh, now that we know how it works, it's pretty easy. I don't want to bore you with that. But we are getting resources. We're getting our diamonds. We're getting our redstone and everything else. So probably the next thing I want to do is I want to get this done where it converts the material up into like the ingots and things. This to those. And that's something kind of big and that will design a system for that. The whole goal here, though, is that we're going to build in the next few episodes an AE2 system that is a storage system with drives and such, and we will then be able to uh, use this as external storage so we don't clog up our disks with this kind of material, okay? We'll put like a little thing on the controller that, that kind of works for that. So that will be next time. So guys, I think right now, this is me, and I think we're about done for today, okay? Hope you like this video. It's a little different style. I wanted to see if I could do longer cuts and do more uh, as I go instead of doing cuts in between. I could have done that, but we'll see. Tell me what you think. Please let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, okay? If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. You there, subscribe, please. Also hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Again, guys, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.